In our la last expedition to, north, to the North Pole, Tara uh, drifted for 18 months on the ice cap and uh, witnessed the dramatic uh, melting of, um, of the ice. Uh, the next problem now is to try to understand better how the, the warming of the planet is going to evolve. And in order to do this, we need to know better the, to understand better also how the, the, the machine that is regulating the climate is, is structured. And um, probably very people know that the, it is in fact the ocean who is regulating the climate and it's regulating the climate thanks to a, a hidden world of uh, microorganisms um, which are almost which are very poorly, poorly known of, the, of, of most of you and in fact very poorly known of scientists. And in order to better uh, know this world, we need to use specific tools that involve uh, uh, machines that we can send down in the water and also apparatuses to observe these, 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 these um, organisms, as well as genomic methods to characterize the organism and their distribution throughout the planet. In order to do this, Tara expeditions and the, the oceans uh, uh, group has decided to send a new expedition around the world that will uh, go from uh, France uh, through the Mediterranean Sea and through various um, poorly studied regions and specific provinces of the oceans. And during this voyage, we will study this, this world, the microorganisms, which are regulating the climate. Okay, so the ocean team is composed of an international uh, group of scientists, which is also interdisciplinary. There are uh, oceanographers, uh, cell biologists, molecular biologists, um, informaticians, and these people will together will uh, will try to understand the this microscopic world that is regulating the climate. The Tara Ocean project is connected to evolution because life started in the sea, in fact, and uh, at the beginning, um, the the first organisms that that started to appear on Earth were living in, an, in a world in which there was no oxygen. And uh, the microorganisms existing at this time were using chemical energy to survive and to, to reproduce themselves. Until some time, uh, some billion years ago, uh, new organisms started to, to arise that were able to use the energy of the sun and water to produce oxygen. When this happened, there is a lot of oxygen that has accumulated in the atmosphere and this induced a massive killing of some of the organisms that could not live in the presence of oxygen and the whole composition of the life on Earth started to change and evolve dramatically. This evolution obviously started first in the oceans before organisms started to develop on, the, on land and that's how the present uh, living system on Earth is, is, uh, exists now.